This is an artist's rendition because, of course, we don't see the planet itself. Mm -hmm. So the significance of this discovery is that it's the first time we found a planet that has the right mass and is the right distance to have liquid water and a substantial atmosphere. People have been getting closer and closer over the last couple of years. They've been finding planets that are on the hot edge of the habitable zone and on the cold edge of the habitable zone. But finally, we have one right in the middle. We don't know exactly what the atmosphere is composed of. I mean, if the atmosphere is pure ammonia, it might be tough. Um, if, if it's conventional gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, that sort of thing, sure, there's every, there's every bit of reason to think that uh, life as we know it could exist there. But without knowing in detail what the atmospheric constituents are, what's the balance of nitrogen and oxygen, that sort of thing, uh, we may have to bring our own atmosphere with us or manufacture it uh, in habitats or whatever there, as we would do if we lived on Mars, for instance.